Um, smoking for the first time. The Savinelli 1996, 1996. Sorry, it's a uh, blah, 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 collection, collection series. And I'm um, smoking. Uh, what's gonna be my next, my next review? Uh, Penzance. I have some here left from a two-year-old tin. The flakes got a little destroyed. <laughs> the flakes, the flakes are really sensitive. Delicate flakes. Here goes nothing. Very nice. Very nice. I've been smoking some um, some uh, very fresh Benzan since that one has two years on it. I don't have anything older than that, I think. I don't want to talk about it right now because the review is coming. I'll probably give you more three, four days so I can smoke a little bit more. Still, I've not made my mind about it. I've been struggling to know, to decide if this pipe would be an, you know, Latakia or Pure Virginia. Pure, not pure Virginia, like Virginia Ford blends, but I've been in a, you know, a lot of Kia strike, strike, does it, what, it's, la it's late, just, you know, ignore. And it's a Savinelli. Um, and this is probably my favorite brand. Why? I have several Savinelli's and never had a problem. I wish they made more filterless pipes. You know, all of them have filters. This one has a filter, but I'm not using one. I'm not using the insert either. I, I don't care. As long as you clean inside after because it's a big hole, I don't see much of a difference. But I think I made the right decision with this one. That's the only separation I have with my pipes. Some English, some English. We talked about this before, huh? Some Larakias and some more Virginia Four or Barley's. Then I have cobs. I have some cobs dedicated to Larakia blends, but my other cobs are experimental cobs. I mix blends, put some um, what's it called? aromatics. You know, it's a cob, man. That's what makes them amazing. Like, you just do whatever. I, I certainly would not going to do whatever I want with this one, but with a cob, I do whatever I want, you know. Mmm. Mm. Very nice. This stem is very comfortable. The draw is very nice. Um, I can taste this blend, you know, fairly well. It's gonna get better eventually with some cake. The taste of briar is almost almost none. Mm. 
very nice. I am one of those guys that think that bigger bowls diameter they usually I reserve them for Latakia Ford blends. I think that I taste the rest of the stuff better, you know. I think Latakia comes through if the blends putting out Latakia, the Latakia comes through in almost any pipe. But the other parts of the blend, you know, what makes it not pirate cake <laughs> what it makes it not completely you know straw over a campfire uh those tend in my personal opinion tend to disappear a little bit with small pipers in that have smaller diameters let me talk about flakes it been smoking up Kind of a flake here. Let me talk about flakes with you guys. Especially holy flakes. Uh, if you guys probably know crumble cake is not a whole leaf cake. You know they have like coarse cut or a ribbon cut that they just press it together like crazy. Leaf cake is something like this. Like this is Saint James flake from Samuel Gawith. You know they they pull. Put all the leaves there, whole leaves, and then they press it. I think that we have a false sense of humidity when we are smoking flakes. At least I do. For some years, I've been smoking flakes, and they always smoked hot. Not all, all of them, but most part of them. Because you can't, it's very complicated to actually completely rub out. Rub out? Okay, to rub, you know, out a flake. So, there's always a little, you always end up with several little miniatures of flakes. And although you you, you pick them up and you feel that they are, you know, oh, this is the right humidity that I would smoke, for example, a ribbon cut. It's not. There's some hidden humidity going on there, at least in my opinion. So, I use, when they feel like that, I used to smoke them and they smoke hot. Nowadays, I'm smoking a flake, I let it crisp. <laughs> I take it off like this, this, this one. This is my very last flake of St. James Flake. And I'm glad it's gone because I'm not enjoying its virginness that much in this time of the year. But there we go. But uh, so I would grab it and I would grind it like my hands a lot, 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 and then I would leave it for man half an hour. I'm not talking about the whole tin, I'm talking about that flake that I'm gonna smoke. Achieve is way beyond what I would prefer a ribbon cut. And then flakes smoke well for me. For exception of one or two things like some McBerry stuff. But but for example, Peter Stark would be luxury bullseye flake. It must be next to turn into dust for me. Then it smokes amazing. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to say hello to you guys, share a few thoughts, share this experience with you. I'm very, very happy. This is probably my most expensive pipe. And uh, I was about to, I was thinking about selling it, but it had a good story, so I kept it. Take care. See you in the next video.